Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is the now officially, like, without a doubt, totally clear second biggest streak I've ever had and I do not want to lose it. Torn Photo Undefined S9419VH2. Uh, this is one of the most dangerous Eden starts we've had over the course of this streak, without a doubt. 1 HP is uh, extremely dangerous. Our spacebar item is not, uh, it, let's put it this way, it doesn't directly compensate for the lack of HP. I like it, and that actually helps out so much right there, although the lack of speed is very dangerous in and of itself. If we could fill up our red hearts, I think I would be happy with this. I'd be pretty pleased. Pleased as punch? No, let's not get ridiculous here. There's an expression I don't even understand, to be honest with you, but relatively happy. Um, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to take those, nor am I going to... Uh, pop undefined just yet. We'll use it to try to get error rooms after we finish floors. For now, we don't really want it. I, I honestly think that that lard pickup in our item room may have just saved the day. You know, maybe we get like shoop the whoop in there or something else. Might not find ourselves having a good time. Cancel Christmas. But uh, for now, this is actually a completely acceptable starting point. I would I'd maybe even say it's great. Because Torn Photo is such a good starting item. Uh, and maybe we'll get a battery charge? Yeah, we will. That gives us a much better chance of getting, uh, at the very least, to a secret room or a second secret room. You know, we can't bank on getting to an error room and getting a bunch of items out of it, but there is that chance that I enjoy the opportunity to, to get, if possible. But we'll start with just, uh, just trying to get to our boss fight here. Sorry, I had six Chicken McNuggets earlier, and I think that they have caused my brain to shut down. That might be slanderous towards McDonald's. I will say this, they were delicious. They might have caused some cognitive impairment as I deal with whatever, you know, in insulin, in close. That's a new, uh, that's a new, uh, digestive enzyme I've just come up with. Um, yeah, as, as I deal with whatever this gluca, glucogen spike is, glucose, I don't know, see, I'm, I'm, brain's asleep, brain's asleep. Thank God it didn't fall asleep before I managed to pick up lard, though. Might have found ourselves in a very difficult spot in died. We are holding steady here like Craig Finn and the gang. And really, this is an easy fight. Obviously, I'm pretty thankful that we started with uh, enough bombs or got enough bombs eventually to do that. Oh, that was not a very good finish there, but that's okay. We got an HP upgrade. Teleported to the second secret room where we'll get a black heart. Very nice for the next floor. We will walk back and get uh, a battery charge. And then we will use this battery charge and we will get to the error room where we will pick up a lot of really, really great stuff and some not so great stuff as well. Uh, we will take these pills, but first let's let let's get, you know, bulked up here. I opened that and I'm glad I did. We got a lot out of it. Um, we will take Bob's brain, sure. I mean, it seems like the game's been very kind to me right now. I don't want to rebuke it immediately. 13 cents and two hematomesis pills. Um, you could teleport out, but what's the point, you know? We might as well just head down to the next floor. Now we're at 5 HP. Picked up a lot of consumables there. We could take a risk on this floor, but... Call me crazy, it might be a little bit risky. I'm thinking we're gonna play this blood bank. All the way down. Hoping to get blood bag. Enough money to get whatever we want from the shop, at least. Then, please don't backfire. I'm going to do this. Please don't backfire. We're going to go into the curse room. Hopefully pick up some spirit arts here. Uh, nothing from those. Three flies. Then we're going to undefined. And we did not get to the error room, which is exactly what I was hoping for. This way, we actually managed to, uh, you know, be able to stay on the floor, get the deal with the devil. But I wanted to save ourselves the half spirit heart indignity of leaving the... Uh, curse room and taking the extra damage. In the whole scheme of things, probably not that big of a deal, but I'm glad we did it this way. It, it has worked out, and we found our secret room that we wouldn't have otherwise found. Now, very important, don't lose HP to Bob's brain. Nothing more complicated about it than that. Just keep your HP solid. Hematomesis, we're going to try to save and use on a double, or not a double secret room, but a second secret room, you know what I mean. And uh, 35 cents is actually kind of ridiculous for where we're at right now. I'm pretty thrilled about that. If we can just get to the shop, we have plenty of keys. This is also a fantastic situation for us. Another spirit heart. We could use the small rock at this point, I think. Let's see if we can just sneak a Bob's brain back there. Well, they had somebody jump in front of the uh, 
Bob's brain like Kevin Costner in The Bodyguard. If that's a spoiler for The Bodyguard, I apologize. Uh, first off, it's a 30-year-old movie, literally. Not, not an exaggeration. I believe it came out in 1985. Uh, also, I've never seen it, so if it's a spoiler, it's an accidental spoiler, there's no malice meant. I, or meant. I know the same about the bodyguard that everybody knows about the bodyguard. The, the drop followed by, and, uh, yeah, you know, everyone is on the same page there. I don't think anybody's ever actually seen the film. I don't even know if the film exists, it's just a vehicle to sell Whitney Houston records. Uh, we are just a wrinkly sack of shit right now. We'll take both of these. Humbling Bundle's great. Uh, Blue Map is fine. Great might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but it, it's pretty good. I like anti-grav well and good enough to take it. I, I don't feel weird about that. Hopefully we will not find ourselves at all in a situation where anti-grav ends up being shitty, and this is a perfect time for us to get, uh, for us to get our deal with the devil. We'll get the full missing no charge, not missing no, but undefined charge right afterwards. We will use that to teleport. Might teleport into the second secret room, then we'll use Hematomesis. We're actually doing quite a lot of damage as well. Alright. Magic Scab. And what's this? Actual items on a deal with the devil. Is it my birthday? I'm being sarcastic because the last run was so annoying for this. But now it's not so bad, but I can't uh, backpedal. We'll, uh, yeah, why not? Let's go for this. We're gonna use Hematomesis anyway. We know we're getting a lot of money out of this. Uh, definitely enough to buy another battery charge if we want to. We could also donate a lot, but come on now. Who are we, Jay-Z? We're not balling that far out of control yet. Let's, uh... Let's go. Do I want to use a bomb there? You know what? We got Bob's brain. Let's use a bomb there. We'll pick up six cents. And we have counterfeit penny, I just realized. We actually picked up seven cents. Count it. No battery charge. That's my mistake. Why don't we buy a spirit art just to keep ourselves, you know, as good as we can possibly be. And we'll bomb our way into our second secret room, see what we can get with Hematomesis. Nothing special, so we'll hold on to it. Tears up is great. I can see forever is useless, but at least we know now that it's in the rotation so we can use it more uh, effectively later. But the tears up is awesome. Great run so far. Absolutely no complaints except that Bob's brain eventually could, could backfire, but... You know, life life goes on. We made the decision to stick with it. Uh, and, and we're going to do so. Nobody gonna love you better. Must stick with you, Bob's brain. Doesn't really work, but it, it doesn't not work. It doesn't, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's put it that way. And if it is bad, it's for the same reasons every song I sing is bad. Not because it's uh, by the Pussycat Dolls, no. That is sacrilege. Uh, rather, because I'm the one singing it. Thought that would work a little faster than it actually did, but we're doing fine for time. Let's not forget that uh, Undefined is also a teleporter, so if I ever want to get into these rooms and then get out of them, I, I can do so fairly easily, and uh, really gives us good possibilities to pick up a lot of good items. I mean, we didn't really get a good item selection from our uh, our first air room, but it gave us a great assortment of consumables, which gave us a, a real heads up when it comes to actually picking up Humbling Bundle and Blue Map, both of which I'm, I'm quite fond of, so uh, I'm... Very happy with that, and I think it made a big difference uh, when it comes to actually making this run work. Glad we got that open. And that was definitely worth it. Not really much point to actually going to our secret rooms yet, because we, we don't know if we might just teleport into them, which would be better for all parties, except for the game, I guess. Worse for the game gives us a much better chance. Let's buy them both. First one's deck of cards. Gave us Hanged Man. Second one. <laughs> it's a little baggy. Wow, um, in a way this is great, because we did just pick up two hematom- not two hematomesis, two tiers upgrade pills. We lost the hanged man though, which I could have used right there. Alright, found our boss, and I like finding the boss early. That way I can uh, pretty much guilt free start doing my exploration. We might miss out on the item room. Uh, not exploration, but I think you know what I mean. Um, our, our undefined shenanigans. But uh, once we uh, start doing that, we may miss out on the item room, but at least we're not missing out on a devil chance, which is our bigger predictor of success. Placenta's we'll fine. And Krampus fight is just par for the course. Mostly I'm just happy that the game gave us the opportunity to get deal with the devil precedent before it uh, saddled me with this one right here. And lump of coal. Fantastic. We have teleported into our second secret room where we got an assortment of pills yet again. Bombs are key. No. Paralysis. No. Full health. 
Fine. And we'll keep both hematomesis pills again. What's my what's my logic behind this one? It's quite simple. Uh, we will eventually find one that has an eternal heart or some black hearts in it, and then hematomesis is much more valuable. Haven't found it yet. One day, though, I have faith. Have faith. I have faith in thee, my lord. His mother replied as she locked the... <laughs> I don't remember the rest, but that's okay. That was pretty good for on the fly, I think. Uh, we could open that chest, probably should. We have Humbling Bundle. Thinking we'll just go do like every other room. We still gotta find the item room. Don't think we're particularly, yeah, we're not short on time. We've been going relatively quickly here. Got up to 20 cents, use that to buy a battery charge, get another teleport on this floor. Or start teleporting early on the next floor, but I still don't think that's the best idea. That was dumb. Even in my head, I was like, you're probably going to take damage here. And then I did. Not a huge surprise. Nun's Habit would also be a great pickup uh, with Undefined. Almost gives you, if you get a little bit more synergistic stuff going on, can give you the chance to do unlimited chests, basically, which is uh, fun. Also, sometimes time-consuming, time for sure. Not soy milk. Infestation. Not good enough, man. Um... Infestation is pretty bad. Infestation 2 is the world's greatest. Let's open the regular chest. At the very least. Yeah, I mean, it was probably worth it, financially speaking. And we'll buy the battery charge and we'll teleport. Obviously, we did that in a slightly suboptimal fashion. You know what? I'd rather have two hematomesis pills. Full health. Jack of all trades, master of none. I'd rather be a master of all trades than a jack of none. The jack of none is not a very great card in digital poker, though, I'll tell you that much. Let's head down to the next floor. Digital poker? Starting to sound like a convert of, of Terryism or something like that. Not to, not to harp on Terrence Howard. He's already got, you know, his work cut out for him with the whole post-Iron Man universe he's living in. That sentence sounded ridiculous, but did actually make a little bit of conceivable sense, at least. Now, we can't get into that room without teleporting in. And I don't think we can teleport in with uh, Undefined. It's only secret rooms and other special rooms, I think. Don't really want the chest that badly. Like, I'm, I'm running out of bombs a little bit, so I'm trying to save them for maybe Tinted Rocks. Or a situation like this is interesting as well, but we don't need to um, use a bomb. Because we already got, like, four of the mushrooms. Maybe even six of the mushrooms exploded. I'm gonna play this, and then I'm gonna use Hematomesis, because we can only carry two uh, Hematomesis pills with us anyway, so we might as well get as much as we can out of this blood bank, and then Hematomesis, and pick up whatever we can, and then go for broke again. And we could teleport out of the, uh, out of the boss trap room now, as long as we get a charge. But we'll start uh, just with this, and 57 cents is a great place to be again! Not that we were ever at 57 cents, but I mean, like, a, we were at a lot of money, and now we're back at a lot of money. And our flies doing quite the number as well. Don't know this pill. We may come back for it at a later date. I feel like this is probably our boss room, just through the, you know, best principles, best practices of uh, the second secret room. It's the real value. Oh, that was bad. This is the real value of uh, Blue Map, in my opinion. And this is indeed our boss fight. Okay, so we're hoping for a deal with the devil with good stuff in it. Followed by teleportation to the item room, followed immediately by teleportation to the error room. Alright, this is fine. The damage is coming in. It's taking a little extra time. Wait for Bob's brain to go. There. I had a feeling I'd still take a hit, but... Oh well. Not a big problem. Knock that guy out. I didn't realize he would be in the ooze state. And we did get a deal with the devil. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, we'll take this. And then we'll take this, and then we'll take this, and we just got Death's Touch, Mom's Knife, Ceremonial Robes, all at the same time. That's that's pretty freaking great. And we got our secret room as well, where I will take uh, the Cancer Trinket, and we'll leave. Slightly unfortunate, we didn't get to go to our item room, but we're not going to need the item room on this run. I would have rather seen it, but uh, not a not an enormous concern either way. Now we don't want Bob's Brain. Like, Bob's Brain, we could, we could trade it in now, like a rusty old, you know, 93 Corolla or something like that. Not that, you know, I, I see a lot of, like, it's like the third most common car I think I see on the road. is like a 1993 Toyota Corolla or Camry. If it's still working for you, don't let me tell you to trade it in, man. That's a, that's a reliable workhorse. You're driving that thing for pennies on the dollar now. I'm just saying, Bob's brain is more dangerous to us now than it is to, uh, 
than it is to the enemies. So it would be for the best if we could somehow find a way to offload it without rerolling our whole run, which is not possible. But now boss rush definitely is possible. Our second error room also, I didn't even mention it, but it gave us infamy, which is pretty solid. And certainly this is like, it's not even the inverse of the last run, because the inverse of the last run would be like, high H or high damage, but uh, incredibly low HP. We're on like high damage, high HP. This is a total comeuppance for the last run that uh, was ruining my my psyche. This one, I'm, I'm feeling much better about things. I don't really care about those pills, to be honest with you. Kind of care about this, if we could get one of those in there, maybe see if it's Cricket's head. Is Abel worth the risk here? I'll, I'll take this for four spirit hearts. Uh, is Abel worth the risk here? I honestly don't know. We'll lose a spirit heart to pick it up. Is it worth it? Probably not, I guess is my guess. Let's donate as much money as they'll allow. And this is probably the way to go to get to the boss fight. We still have our item room as well. We're not going to need more than 30 cents at most, so... I say we just donate as much as they'll let us, because need is even a strong word. We probably don't need anything to win this run. We already have even the teleport card that I always farm for. I'll tell you what, I didn't expect it to go this far. Uh, we'll try to keep it above five cents so that we can still get an arcade, maybe a demon judgment on the next floor. But that was great, we got to donate like 40 something cents there, I think. Soy milk, we'll take it because it's weird and I want to add a little excitement into my life. I imagine this is gonna make it much harder to kill these enemies. And now, in a weird and roundabout fashion, I have recreated the market for uh, for Bob's brain. I have made it so that Bob's brain is useful again. And it's not like we're doing completely insignificant damage. Surely it's not as good as we'd like it to be. But considering I kind of actively destroyed it, I think I would know where I want it to be, so maybe I do want it to be down here. Whatever, it's just a silly run at this point. Hopefully this is our boss fight, and indeed it is. Bob's brain has finished the job, and we will get some teleports coming up. But first, Monstro 2. Watch out for Bob's brain. I mean, look, at you can see that we're still dealing an awful lot of damage, and we can just get uh, Mom's knife up in there. I really need to get rid of Bob's brain. There we go. And when you when you see soy milk, you gotta take it, man, because it lowers your chances of getting special items in the future. No reason to do that without getting your money's worth, right? Can't believe I'm still holding on to these hematomesis pills, too. Alright, we got a range upgrade and several pills from our error room this time. Amnesia, paralysis, wow, that's uh, a bit a bit bad. Plenty of time. Let's try to get to our item room and error room. Which are probably uh, this way. We have too many keys. We don't need we don't need more keys. This is a, a little surprisingly tedious, I'll admit. But what did I expect? Copy? Thought if we open it from the other side, maybe we'd get lucky. Paralysis! Are you a wizard, man? No, I'm not a wizard, man. Now I would like... I mean, Guppy Knife doesn't really work that well. I'd still like it, though. Two keys for... Lots of money and two bombs. Hmm. Pretty much a wash, I'd say. The money might be useful. But we could have gotten it anyway. Uh, we're hoping for red chests here. Red chests. Red chests at night. Sailor's delight. Red chests in the morning. Still pretty sweet, to be honest with you. Is it sad that the soy milk pickup has now made it that I actually actively want Abel? That's where we've entered on this run. Is the Twilight Zone where Abel is one of our better damage dealers. But I think I'm just overreacting. I think I got used to high damage, and then I took soy milk, and I'm like... This is not how it works, but I'm compared to Soy Milk Tears, our damage is actually amazing right now. I would really like to stop taking uh, as much damage as I am, though. But that's that's Mom's knife. You know, it does have it gets glossed over, but it does have an associated risk with it. I didn't want to turn that way because Bob's brain would have fired. Um, wow, that is not good. It has an associated risk with it. Because you have to get super close to enemies to, to hit them. 
And every time we turn, Bob's brain is going to be there. It's a little, it's a sobering thought, let's put it that way. Don't skip this floor without getting item room. That's very dumb. That damage is also extremely dumb. I don't feel good. Nod Leaf is a savior potentially for us in a hilarious and like completely annoying fashion. I can't wait. Paralysis. Just landmark pills here, really saving the day. So now with Nod Leaf, we can stand still. Which is a huge benefit, strangely enough. We can just stand still and let enemies die around us. We don't have to worry about Bob's brain. We don't have to worry about infestation. Doesn't matter. We just stand still. Do I want to, I really... Well, we can still use hematomesis, actually. I really don't want to use this as my strategy of choice. However, in times of trouble, Mother Mary comforts me. Singing words of wisdom, use Nod Leaf. I am also, like, surprisingly slow. Guess we didn't really pick up many improvements for speed, and we got lard. Which is a potentially killer speed down. Still, we're alive and doing fine. Don't let the soy milk pickup go down on me. That was originally meant to be, don't let the sun go down on me. And it, it went in a weird direction. Um, red chest, spirit hearts, nine lives, nine lives. No, four spirit hearts, though, is actually pretty useful right now. I'm not going to tell a lie on that one. We made it into boss rush. We get money equals power, Mr. Mega 2020. Harlequin Baby's also here. I'm going to take money equals power because with Humbling Bundle, I think this gives us a great potential chance to uh, to snag some some wonderful things. And we will pick up all this stuff now. If we get uh, 99 cents, that's plus 4 damage. That's very, very significant. Uh, let's try not to get hit here. Okay, I'm the world's strongest man. This is great. I, I don't know how much our damage is improved. Oh, I know exactly how much our damage is improved. Unless money equals power is rebalanced by soy milk, in which case, I believe that 99 cents would be a 0.4 damage increase. Which would be terrible. But, would it be so bad considering that, um, that's not that worth it. It wouldn't be so bad, I think, considering that we'd be doing the ticks of damage much more frequently. But it would still be much less desirable, I think. But I think money equals power is probably the right choice. Thought about 2020. Decided with the knife it wasn't worth the, the, the item it was printed on. It wasn't worth the bits that it's taken up in memory. But, um... Mr. Mega crossed my mind for about a quarter of a second until I saw the better items. Okay, one-shotting Gertie Jr., or Gurglings, I should say, is not, uh, that's not too bad. Not the tankiest enemies out there. And not the untankiest either, though. That guy did not adhere to the one-shot principle that I've been trying to pull. One of these days, man, the hematomesis pill is going to work out for us. I can smell it. One of these days. That is uh, a bad pill, I think. Those are bad pills, I think. I can see forever is not a bad pill. Paralysis is a bad pill. Oh my lord. I'm so much slower than I actually seem to realize. I might want Goat Hoof. Just use Paralysis, get it out of there. This is going to be like the slowest run I've ever had while still having Boss Rush. Not to mention Mom's Knife, Ceremonial Robes, etc, etc. Now I'm like, I don't even know what we want on this run. Dark Bum? Dark Bum is like our saving grace. This is a very strange run. It's like the more damage I get, the less damage I have, thanks to Soy Milk. I know that's not how it works, but it does feel that way sometimes. We've already gotten to half the damage cap, almost half the damage cap, from uh, from uh, money equals power. And it still seems like 
kind of terrible. But we do have the advantage of being able to stand still and enemies can just walk into us. Okay, 40 cents. Buy what we need. Blue candle is not what I want, to be honest with you. Uh, I know this will compromise our situation. So what I'm going to do after that is just blow this shit up. Go sky high. It's not even going to take that much out of the donation machine relative to what it's going to give us. So we can get to, you know, 70 cents might be a little bit of a push. But uh, if each one gives us 10, we're not that far off. And it should give us between like 6 and 14. One bomb left. We actually might get to like 85. No, 80 roughly. 77. All right. So that's a big, uh, that's a big play. Still got... You know, a lot of a lot of floor left to cover here, strangely enough, considering we've already done the floor. We will open this. Can't imagine bombs being more valuable than money. Now we're at 87 cents. Not good damage. And the flies are helping. Okay, teleport. Not an error room, but a much faster way to finish this floor. I'm actually a little frightened, and I'll admit that readily. I thought the soy milk pickup would be a funny joke. Now I'm realizing that it's not funny. It, it's possibly going to kill us. Can't help but notice that there is a there is a dice room here. Yo, I hate this. Stand still. Just stand still forever. That was terrible. Um... We gotta get around there so we can use, like, hematomesis, man. The enemies are too fast! They're too fast. Hematomesis does nothing for me here. We may actually die. Like, right now. Um, I don't want to do this room. Is there a tinted rock? There is a tinted rock. Save me. Save me for myself. Don't give me small rock. Oh, it gave me a tinted rock. Okay, all is forgiven. Blow up the door. Now that I've blown up the door, we can leave. We're in full-on survival mode. Yes, it worked. Okay, come on down, big boys. Come get a taste of the dark carnival, motherfuckers. I'm ready. There we go. Yeah, that's the way you want to run. You want to run into me. You want to run into me from the side. Oh, that's a real problem. Classic mistake right there. Come get a taste, fuckboys. I should have gotten an extra coffee before this video. I didn't realize it would be such a such a tough one. Okay, I think we should turn ourselves so we're facing this way now. That way, if they charge us from that side, they're, they're going to take damage. They never will. Okay, that's that's fine. Stand still. Now they're coming. Here they come. Oh, B E A, beautiful. One more left. Don't move yet. That creep could still be active. Now we'll move. Too easy. All right. This is going to be simplest run of my life. Stand still. Remember these guys? Really do not want to leave this floor before we get uh, to that second secret room. Eternal hearts and black hearts would be so valuable. I can't believe we're still alive. I... I thought we would have lost it. I think we should be able to do the pin fight without getting hit. I mean, we're slow, but he's trapped, so. Good. This is good. We do want to check this room. The boss, I'll admit, scares me a great deal. Tears up is fine. Full health is not necessary. Magic mush. Not magic mush, just a bunch of spiders. Happens all the time. I also want the chance to see what's in this double key room. Might not be the worst idea in the world to reroll this whole run. We're like exactly the same speed as these guys. Oh, it almost worked! That should be like my expression for this whole run. Help. Bob's brain. We're fine. We're fine again. I can see forever. 
We're good. Okay, okay. Second secret room is just a bunch of red hearts. Double key room. Don't do me. Don't do me. It's a five room. What am I gonna do with the five room? I can't do anything with a five room. It's worthless. How are we gonna beat this boss? Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I'm not gonna... What's the point of restarting the whole floor two rooms away from the boss? We're still gonna have one HP. I can't tell you how much it hurts uh, to lose a 50 streak because he took soy milk as a joke. I'm going to... I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm not gonna let it get me, uh, you know, to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna do anything absurd again. But that, that hurts. People are gonna be like, if you're gonna backseat this run, it's obvious. You know, like, we're gonna you just not take soy milk, and then you got mom's knife, ceremonial robes, and, uh, and, uh, death touch. It's not hard at all. But anyway, uh, maybe we'll do some, like, non-character, or non-Eden runs here. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the runs. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, I'll see you next time.